Hi, I'm going to do a demo here of Selenium using C Sharp and Visual Studio. And I'm going to do this really quickly because I know certain people might be impatient with uh, the slower step by step. So I'm going to do that in a separate video. So I'm going to start by uh, talking about the pieces that you need. So the first thing you need is you'll need to download the Firefox plugin, Selenium IDE, from selenumhq.com. So once you do that, you could actually record scripts. And when you record scripts, you could actually export the scripts as um, C Sharp code. So uh, that's the first step. The second step is you have to download uh, NUnit. And once you download NUnit, um, you can run the test through the code in Visual Studio. Uh, the third thing you need is you, you need the Selenium server. Um, which is a Java jar file uh, that you could run using Java. So the command line for that will be uh, running Java through the command line. So java-jar and then the jar file and then the port. So it runs an HTTP server on that port. So um, those are the three things you need. And then the code uh, Visual Studio here. So the script that I exported from uh, the recording of the so-called kind of like macro from Firefox, I imported into a Visual Studio project. And this is the code that you see. So I'll, I'll need all the proper DLLs. And in my other video that is more detailed, I'll show you step by step how to import all the DLLs, where to download it and stuff like that. Um, but here I just want to show you an end to end. So this is the script that's recorded. And it, it actually does initiate uh, the connection to the server uh, that I spoke about here, that Java server uh, in that jar file uh, on port 4444. Um, and then it does uh, the browser stuff, uh, which is you know sending keys. So the a macro that I recorded is going to simulate creating a uh, Google email account, but it actually won't do it because of the um, Kind of, you know, are you a robot? You know, uh, doing the uh, reading of the GIF file uh, for the number numeric numbers. So uh, I'm going to compile it here, and I'm going to run my end unit. So as as you can see, um, I bring up that DLL in my end unit, and I'm going to run it. And there's going to be two parts. Uh, one front run part from the top is going to be Selenium and then the bottom is going to be the Firefox that uh, Selenium initiates. So I'm going to run it now and you'll see that it brought up Selenium and the bottom here it's navigating so at the bottom let me move this out of the way you see it typed in a bunch of stuff um, and then it's going to try to push submit and then it's going to navigate to another page so that's the other page that it navigated to. And all this happens really fast. Um, I actually put in uh, sleeps in here so you could actually see it. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uncomment this and recompile so you could see it full screen. I'm going to maximize the screen as you can see. So let me rebuild. And again, I'm just doing a quickie here uh, in another video. Um, I'll actually be doing the web driver method uh, instead of the remote control method um, and doing a comparison and uh, okay so I'm, I'm gonna run it now and it's gonna maximize the screen so you could see better so it's gonna initiate selenium there and it maximized the screen and I guess I'm sort of in the way with the end unit there so now you can see all the stuff it's going to type in. You see the 5555 uh, telephone number. And then it's actually going to click submit there. And it didn't work. So it just clicked here. Um, so that was actually the macro that I recorded. So there you go. That's uh, an end to end of the a demo for Selenium. And uh, I'm going to post another video that's going to be a slow step by step of what to download and uh, uh, how, how to import the file and how to run a test and all of that. So, all right, uh, thank you for watching for now.